Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is AT back with another video. So today is going to be the review of the official Resurrection Remix ROM based on Android 9.05 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the Resurrection Remix ROM. Let me first show you the about device section before showing you anything else. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see, this is the Resurrection Remix ROM. It's here, the logo. The Android version is Android 9.0 Pi, obviously, as you can see. So going back, let me show you the security patch level that is of February 5, 2019. That's really good. Although the vendor security patch level is of 1st January 2019. That's great again. The kernel here is the Pure CAF Plus kernel version 4.4.174. And the build date here is Saturday, February 16, 2019. So this is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. So going into system, here are a couple of other things like the basic gestures. As you can see, jump to camera, swipe up on home screen and prevent ringing. Those are the basic gestures. By the way, there are lots of customization options, which I'll be showing you in a moment. Digital well-being is also there. As you can see, here it is. So going back, let me talk about the fingerprint scanner. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well. And it's fast enough, as you can see. It's fast enough, no issues with anything. And also all other skill log types are working absolutely well, no issues with anything over there. Even the location sensor works fine, no issues with that. Going into display option, here are a couple of standard stuff like the live display which is working absolutely well. Let me put it to night. And as you can see, working absolutely well. You can change the color temperature of it from here. Also the color collaboration and also the picture adjustment. This is regarding the display. Let me close this one for now. Let us try reading mode and here it is guys reading mode is working absolutely well as i told you earlier reading mode turns everything into gray color grayscale color as you can see everything is turned into gray color including the accent color that's the reading mode so going back as you can see here is an option for style which means basically you can change your accent color also the theme etc so style is an automatic wallpaper based you can put it light or dark if you put it on dark then the system ui will become black also, you can change the accent color, which is basically this color. As you can see, it's blue now. You can put it to something like orange. And yes, here it is working absolutely well. Let me put it back to blue because blue one looks cool. Here it is. It's back to normal now. So going back, here are a couple of other things like the font size, display size. So talking about the ambient display, as you can see, here are a couple of gestures for the ambient display as well as the ambient display which is turned on. Always on option is not present over here. Let us check in the customization options. But the proximity wake and pocket mode is there. That's good. You can change the font from here. It's on Roboto. You can do pretty much anything you want to from here. So going back, let me show you some of the customization options that comes with this room. As you can see, here are a lot of customization options. Guys, Resurrection Remix Room is known for its customization options. It is almost I think 90% or you can say 100% customizable and it's well organized over here. So first on the list is the status bar customizations and first thing is the clock customization. So going into clock position, you can change the position of the clock. It's on left, you can put it to right or even center. As you can see, everything works fine. The clock has been shifted towards the center now. You can also enable show seconds. It will show seconds there. You can also enable AM or PM in small or normal font. As you can see, you can also enable date if you want to in small font and also you can change the format of the date. It's just showing the date that's Saturday. If you want, you can put it to date, day and year. If you want, here it is. A lot of options. That's really cool. You can also change the date position. Left of the time it is now. As you can see, the Saturday is showing over here left. Let me put it to right. Now it's shifted towards the right. I hope it is visible in the camera. So that was regarding the clock customizations going into show net activity in status bar that's basically network traffic monitor which is enabled it will show your current upload and download speeds that's also a really good option going into battery status as you can see you can change the battery style from here it's on portrait you can put it to dotted circle as you can see here is the dotted circle also you can enable the battery bar if you want to it's a small line over here on the display here it is it's not visible in the camera though, but it is working fine. Let me close this one for now. Battery percentage has been enabled by me. It comes hidden by default. You can put it next to the icon or inside the icon if you want to. Going into brand logo, you can enable Resurrection Remix logo. Let me put it towards the left as you can see. Looks cool. I'll leave that enabled. 
also notification ticker system icons yeah you can enable volti icon if you want to I have disabled it i don't want that if you want you can enable that status bar gesture are present over here brightness control over status bar and double tap to sleep it is enabled by default brightness control is disabled by default you need to enable that it should work fine by the way as you can see working absolutely well no issues with anything so you can enable animations for the quick toggles there are only two uh, there are only two animations flip and rotate let us try flip so whenever you hit a quick toggle like this so it will give an animation over there that's the quick style animations so these were some of the animations that are present for the quick toggles also the quick pull down option is present you can enable that it's turned off by default you can put it on right as you can see it will show all the quick toggles rather than just showing like this this is quick pull down let me keep it enabled towards the right it's cool so going into recents you can enable slim recents if you want as you can see so let me show you slim recents really quick here it is this is the slim recents that comes with almost all other rooms out there which have customization options so let me disable that i don't want that because i don't like that personally so going into lock screen you can change couple of things from here like the charging info which is disabled you can enable that also the face auto unlock so if i have enabled the face id in this room it comes enabled when you unlock your device using face you need not to swipe up after the unlocking the device will do that for you you need not to swipe up just it will directly get unlocked that's good also the fingerprint unlock option is present over here so whenever you restart your device it will ask for pin or password what you have set so if you enable this one the fingerprint unlock then the device even after a reboot or a restart it will not ask you to enter the pin or password that's cool and here are a couple of other things so going into the animations you can control some of the animations like the screen of animation which is on simple fade let us try crt as you can see working absolutely well that was crt and also the scale option is present color fade it was on simple fade let me keep it on crt that looks neat so going into miscellaneous here are a couple of items like the show cpu info it will show a floating icon over here which will show your current cpu frequency which i just hate because it's not that great it looks ugly on the display so if you want you can enable it it's your choice so going into interface here are a couple of other things like the system ui tuner as you can see you can use this so if you have knowledge about this you can do that ambient display always on option is present over here guys as you can see it is enabled but i didn't see always on display turned on for like all the time i didn't see that but it is enabled over there so if it so if the always on display is enabled like the always on option then just disable it guys the battery life will be horrible if you enable that so going into navigation as you can see here are a couple of things in the navigation navigation bar comes pre-enabled obviously because redmi note 5 pro doesn't have any physical buttons so yeah so going into navigation let me see what all the options are present over here as you can see you can change the portrait height and landscape width if you want to which i don't recommend because you will get messed up with it if you know then you can do that not an issue so next on the list is the gestures so it clearly says over here as you can see navigation bar must be disabled let me first enable this one and then disable the navigation bar okay navigation bar disabled and i don't think it is working okay it's working fine okay it's a little bit different from miui guys so in miui you just need to do like this from the right or left then it will go back but here it's something different you need to swipe up from bottom to go back and from the center it will go home and if you hold it like this then it will go into recents that's pretty cool but for me navigation buttons are the best let me enable those so going into buttons you can customize your hardware keys from here it's a little bit not too much like you cannot remap your keys or anything like that because you don't have any physical keys that's obvious and here are a couple of things like the reorientation let me disable that i don't want that you can enable answer call via the volume rockers also the wake device via volume rockers that's really cool and also the power button can be customized from here you can add end call long press for torch so these were some of the buttons customizations and last but not least here is the about room section guys you can get to know like pretty much all the stuff regarding this room who are the developers who are the designers etc etc you can read this if you want to as you can see facebook twitter telegram google plus github and website everything is present over here 
that's a really cool thing again going into the wi-fi bluetooth etc and talking about this stuff everything is working absolutely well i didn't have any issues using wi-fi bluetooth mobile data anything everything is working absolutely fine so let me show you the camera app of this room really quick which is a highlighting point because it is really cool as you can see here is the camera app so this camera app has a lot of features over here as you can see here is some of the features like the portrait mode which kind of seems to be not working for me because it just didn't work for me guys for the rear camera for the front camera it is working absolutely fine but for the rear camera i didn't had it working i don't know for what but if you're using it and if it is working for the rear camera too then just let me know in the comment section i didn't find it working for me unfortunately so here are a couple of stuff like the ai which i didn't see working again let me try hdr hdr is working fine i have taken a couple of sample shots let me show you that so these were some of the sample pictures shot with the redmi note 5 pro running the resurrection remix room So talking about the video recording, 4K video recording is present guys and it is working absolutely well. Let me show you that. So it's on 1080p. Let us try 4K. Going back. As you can see. Working fine. No issues with anything. Let me disable that for the moment. Let me show you some of the settings that comes with the camera app. The image stabilization option is enabled. I didn't enable it. Pre-enabled and a couple of additional settings which i don't recommend you guys to play with if you know that you can do else don't do that going into photo here are a couple of options so going into settings let me see what are the settings for photo mode here it is you can change the picture quality it's on high you can build a standard or low if you want not an issue with that and yeah a couple of standard stuff like the grids focus and shoot etc in a nutshell, the camera app seems to work perfectly fine apart from the portrait mode in the rear camera which doesn't seem to work for me. So let me show you my last Antutu score really quick guys so you can get an idea regarding the performance in this room. So going into Antutu benchmark, as you can see I've got a score of 1,13,861. I know this score is not the best what we have seen. I think so we got a score of 1,25,000 in the Oxygen OS but here I have got a score of 1,13,861. Nevertheless talking about the performance in this room, it's really good. I didn't have any issues. There aren't any lags in the system. Not even minor lags were there. That's really a cool stuff by the developer. The kernel is really good. I didn't have any issues playing PUBG in this as well. PUBG was running absolutely well. I didn't have any issues and the HD option was also present and the frame rate was on high even though the device was performing really good but guys do note that after extended usage after playing it for like 35 to 40 minutes there were slight lags slight freeze was there in the device while playing pubg that i had noticed that but not an issue you can definitely play pubg without any issues in this room in a nutshell the performance in this room is really good no issues with anything let me show you my battery life really quick by showing you the battery usage so going into battery usage and here it is guys as you can see when i first booted the room the device was somewhere around 85 percent of charge later i played pubg it says 41 minutes 10 percent of drain which is not possible so pubg i played for like one hour this time 60 minutes exactly like two or three matches i think two matches completely and one match i got knocked out somewhere around for 10 to 15 minutes i guess not exactly sure about the numbers but yeah and there the battery range somewhere was around 30%, 25% to 30% for one hour of play. It's a little bit more I think when compared to the official MIUI but nevertheless the performance was really good in PUBG. I didn't get the HD option in the official MIUI by the way. It was present in all other custom rooms but I didn't get that option in the official MIUI. It was just saying that this option will be enabled for your device really soon or available for your device whatever but that option was not there. PUBG gameplay was good and I use YouTube, camera app, benchmarks and also some music etc. Pretty much the typical mixed usage over here and now the battery has gone down to 53% and talking about the standby time in this room it's really good it had drained somewhere around 3% for around 12 hours of standby that's a really good thing again and yeah so in a nutshell the battery life in this room is pretty good when compared to official MIUI, Oxygen OS, Zen UI and Oxygen OS OnePlus 6T Official MIUI takes the first place and later this room takes the second place. Then comes the Oxygen OS OnePlus 6 port. 
Later comes the Zen UI and then at last the Oxygen OS based on Android Pie OnePlus 6T port. So these were some of the ROMs which I have tested till now. More videos will be coming out, more ROM reviews will be coming out. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. So this was regarding the battery life which is good, no issues with anything like that. And talking about some of the other things like the sound output in this room, it is also really good. I didn't have any issues using the music player, but guys do disable this one, the audio effects. It has a significant impact on the sound output in this room. That's one thing which I noticed. If you are using your headphones, then you can enable that. Not an issue. I was using the speakerphone by the way. FM radio is also there. As you can see, here it is. You need to plug in headset in order to use the radio. As you can see, it says that. That's a cool touch again because the quality will be just horrible if you don't have a headphone there. Some rooms come with that option too. So guys, I guess I have covered most of the aspects of this room in this review. So it has gone like a very long review, but it is worth watching because I have shown most of the customization options which people keep on asking. So this was a quick little review of the Resurrection Remix Roam Android 9.0 by official running on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions. For live updates and behind the scenes, follow me on Instagram. I have stories every single day over here. So do check it out. This is all about Technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.